Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen and this is Vintage Story. Today I'll be taking you through the different classes that are involved in character creation. Once over here, you can see that you have some different class options. The commoner is, well, the most common, and you have no positive or negative traits or skills. So if you want your regular default setup, this is what you could do. But if you go with some of the other ones, with the default settings, you will have restrictions on what you can and cannot make in some of the special skill sets that these classes offer. For example, just going one to the right, we've got the hunter. This is more or less a ranger type. They're very good at uh, hunting and killing animals, very poor in melee combat, and not the best in mining. As you can see here, you come with several traits. Those in the bright green are positives, those in the red are negatives. And you can also see that in this case, the plus 20% range damage, 30% ranged accuracy, and 20% ranged distance makes them an excellent character for throwing spears or different ranged weaponry like bows. They're resourceful. When harvesting animals, you can get extra animal loot, as well as you're a little bit faster at harvesting those creatures. This can really be effective for making different leathers, as well as the difference between getting no food and some food. So this can be a really big one if you're okay with going out and hunting creatures for their meat. Fleet-footed, an extra 10% walk speed. Of course, they're going to be a little bit faster, being a more dexterous character, and they are a bowyer. This is their exclusive craftable item. You can click here on bows and arrows, and on the side it will actually tell you what those are. Crude arrow, crude bow, or a recurved bow. These are all craftable by your hunter class only. Doesn't mean that these are restricted to your hunter class. So if you're playing multiplayer, other characters can use these items, but you would have to make them for them if they're playing a different class. Now the crude arrow and crude bow, as with most crude items, are going to be easy to make early on, almost day one if even. And if you go with the recurve bow, it's going to be a much later on bow that you can make that's top tier and very effective with its accuracy, damage, and range. But as you can see here, farsighted, they have a 15% reduction in their melee damage, so they're not going to be the best in hand-to-hand -hand combat doesn't mean that they can't, just that they're not going to be as effective. And they're claustrophobic, so when they're mining, they actually get less mining results. You're, you're going to lose some different ores, and you're a little slower to mine things as well. So if you're teaming up with a friend, whether it be in a LAN world or on a server, I recommend having them do a little bit more of the mining than you. Let's move this survival handbook out of the way for now. We'll come back to that momentarily and move on to the next class, the Malefactor. This one is an excellent starting class. This is basically like a sneaky thief type character. Uh, they get extra bonus loot from foraging, which whether it be from wild crops or other things of that nature, like berries, fruit, mushrooms, resin, or even sticks, foraging can mean you can get a whole lot more things just by, well, foraging for them. And then we have the Pilferer, where they have a 15% extra drop rate, 10% rusty gear drop rate, 12% chance to collect cracked vessels intact. So the first two more or less resolve around, well, killing mobs and other creatures and things like that that you might break, uh, loot containers and some of the things that would uh, drop from there. Cracked vessels are basically loot containers. You can actually harvest them and have a chance of picking it up instead of breaking it and all the stuff just falls on the ground. If you're able to pick it up, you can then bring it back, even use it for display if you want. But uh, then when you try harvesting it again, you do have a good percent chance of actually breaking it. So keep that in mind. Furtive. This is actually going to be your biggest benefit. You can sneak up on animals in the entire world 35% better than any other class. This means that you can go undetected by most creatures. Specifically, predators are going to be the most important ones to be wary of, like wolves and bears. So you can sneak past them, you can get around them, you can get a lot closer. And this is for good reason, because you're also nervous and frail. But it does mean that you can make a good scout and get ahead of things. An improviser, they have an exclusive craftable item known as the sling. Now the sling is actually kind of a mid to end game item. It's usable for throwing stones. 
stones you can just pick up off the ground or you can mine rocks in the world with a pick and you can use this cloth like item in order to just fling them at enemies not that it's going to do a ton of damage for heavier more durable creatures but it's really going to be useful for just throwing random really easy to find ammunition now on the downside of that though they are frail which means that they're going to have two and a half less health and they're going to have a 25 percent reduction in their range distance and then of course you're nervous you have a reduction in melee damage this means you're really not the best in any kind of combat so it's a really good class for just sneaking around staying out of combat and trying to survive in the world going to our next class the clockmaker this is basically your technician someone who has an interest in technology they are precise which means they get an extra bonus of 25 percent damage against mechanicals that means creatures that are made in some kind of machine-like way so you're going to get a damage bonus against them because you're more familiar with their workings and know what things to hit and how to hit them in order to do that extra damage now you're also technical you know how to fix some things a little bit better than others so when you're repairing things called translocators these are usually broken down teleporters you can find throughout the world you can repair it with a little bit less cost to yourself because it doesn't require one extra temporal gear when repairing it and then of course you're fleet footed so you can walk an extra 10 percent faster than most other classes and you're a tinkerer you get an exclusive craftable device to tame locusts locusts are spider-like machines that you can find in the world and you can use a tuning spear by attacking these creatures and making them your pet you can only have one at a time but hey why not now on the downside you are frail because you're always well kind of indoors working on your mechanical items so you get a 2.5 health reduction and a 25 percent range distance penalty just like the previous class and of course you're also nervous so you get 15 percent melee damage reduction as well so again you're not the best in combat but you might be able to get some friends to help you out in the process and then we have the big beefy character the black card this is your soldier class they do a huge amount of damage in melee with a big 30 percent bonus they have a 15 percent armor durability bonus and if you are wearing heavier armor you usually are slowed down but with the black guard class your walk speed penalty for wearing armor is reduced by 25 percent meaning you might be able to keep up with if not pass some of the other classes while wearing heavier armors if they're wearing the same type too now they're also hardy this is the only class that actually gets a benefit for mining and that is just a mining speed benefit but still this just means they can hit the stone harder and faster and of course they gain an extra five health points these are hardy characters they're going to have a lot of hit points they can take some hits before they go down whereas as you've already noticed some of the other classes have a negative to their health points now they're also merciless so they are able to craft a few items that are more end game like a short sword and a shield now these are specific blackguard styles there are other sword styles and shield styles that can be crafted but these ones are a little bit cheaper and uh, more effective for a blackguard that's trying to be a bit more thrifty with their materials now on the downside of the blackguard they are ravenous they already have a 30 percent hunger rate increase so you're going to be hungry all the time and on top of that any other effects that might increase your hunger rate like holding an item in your off hand or wearing some armor and well your hunger rate's going to be through the roof but as you progress food becomes easier and easier to make throughout the game now you are also nearsighted so you're not a ranged class you get a 15 percent ranged damage penalty so you are really going to be in the thick of it with your sword and shield heavy handed means that you get less loot from cracked vessels and also minus 15 percent loot from foraging and wild crop harvesting kind of the opposite of the malefactor class and then we have the tailor class this one here has a lot of exclusives to it but it's very overlooked they're a clothier they make clothing and sometimes they make different types of armors as well but they have an exclusive craftable sewing kit and clothes and if you notice here there's a sewing kit and all these different clothes types so one if you want to do a bit of role playing this is really a good character for you 
If you want to help out a server or a LAN setup where you're playing with multiple people, then this is also another good character. You're not limited to just clothing though, because you can also make special tailored items of armor or uh, shields and things of that nature that other classes wouldn't have access to thanks to your sewing kit. But it doesn't mean that they're just limited to that. They're also a mender, so they can increase armor durability by 10%. And then they've got some negatives. They are civil. They have a 10% loot reduction from foraging. They're weak, so they have two less hit points than your standard starting set. And a 10% mining speed reduction. But it doesn't mean that they lose any mining items. They're just a little bit slower at it. They're also kind, so they're not really prone to wanting to kill animals. And thus have a 10% reduction in animal loot. And a 25% animal harvesting speed reduction. All that done, I'm going to confirm my class choice, and that's going to be a commoner for now, just for the points of this bit by bit. So if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please be sure to give a sub, a like, a comment, or just come back and watch the next video. Till next time, folks, I'll see ya.